So the thing with most people is when they jump into stocks, they don't know what they're even looking at. They don't know what they're looking for. They don't, they don't know a thing. Other than they're investing into a company, maybe. Maybe they know that much. But, yeah, this video is going to kind of make things a bit easier. Kind of show you that you don't need thousands of dollars to actually make real money as in the stock market. I mean, I still would look at it more as a whole retirement. I mean, if you have some extra money that is just sitting there, you might as well do something with it. And this is just an additional option. And let me put out a disclaimer. I'm, this video is strictly educational. I'm not going to be telling anybody what to invest in. Overall, what you invest in is your choice. So... I'm not giving out any investment advice in this video at all. But, um, overall, I'm just showing you guys that you have opportunities right now, especially after this whole Corona deal going on. It's dropped so many stocks at a cheaper price. And even if you just went to Robin Hood, they, they make things simple for you. The only thing you gotta do is just a little bit of extra research on the company itself. So, for example, you're looking at like Aurora Cannabis. That's a marijuana stock. That's 69 cents right now. You, I mean, you just got 69 cents lying around easy, right? You can put in like five bucks and just, oh, you can have multiple of these if you wanted to do that. You can put five bucks in the forward if you wanted to do that. Carnival, twelve bucks. Nike, it's, it's a bit a little bit more expensive, fifty two, but who knows? But we'll see what happens. But <clears throat> overall what you're seeing here is they're separated too, so the most popular is sectioned off right here. Tech stocks, oil stocks, finance stocks, what which industry do you wanna get into? What seems familiar to you? Do you want to go into something big and reputable or do you want to kind of look for something new but strong within a specific industry? It's totally up to you. Yes, there's social media stocks as well. So you can go in and get a list going if you want to. So, you can get stocks like Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and a lot, there's a lot of ones that I've never even heard of. And they're just cheap. Some of them are expensive. I don't know what NetEase is, but apparently it's pretty popular. I should probably check it out myself, honestly, but see what it's about. But there's a lot of familiar stocks. Now you can ask yourself, what do tech stocks look like? Some of them 50 bucks, 51 cents, 4 bucks. You have some for, yeah, a thousand. That's Google. So, yeah, that one's going to be pricey. And, yeah, you're looking at them. They're, a lot of them generally are less than $100. But overall, you still want to do your research. You want to know a little bit about the company and see what it actually is about, what it has to offer. We can check out Spotify right now. Spotify. So it's worth $118. It's going to give you a little bit of information about the company. A little brief review, but you still want to look at more information besides market cap and all this other stuff. But it doesn't have a lot, I guess. So we'll go check out Netflix instead. Netflix is at about $359 right now. And it's going to give you like employee data. It doesn't give you a lot of data, but you can check out other websites to re so you can um, get more in-depth detail on the stocks as well. And the company, um, the earnings, and so on. And typically, Robinhood will give you some news events as well. But still, I, I wouldn't just limit myself to, actually, oh, never mind, it does like 
an earnings report. Oh, wait, wait, this is per share. This isn't the earnings for the actual company itself. But yeah, there are sites like Market Watch you can go to that can actually show you some more detail on the company itself. You just have to, you just, yeah, just keep doing your research and figure out if this company is for you. If you see this company succeeding within the next five, ten years or longer. I mean, how long do you plan on holding this stock? That's a question you have to ask yourself. Are you going to do this short term or are you trying to do it for more for retirement? You got to think about the long game when it comes to these things. Or if you're trading short term, shorter term, it's totally up to you. But, um, yeah, if Robinhood is and a uh, platform that you feel is pretty simple and easy to use you can click the link in the description i'll put my link below you can actually get a free stock just for joining and all you have to do is just click that link in the description and yeah just for joining and for more information on stocks if you want to learn more about cryptocurrencies or any other investments, feel free to subscribe to my channel. My channel is going to be filled with a ton of information just like this as far as explaining stocks. And as far as stocks um, being concerned with the coronavirus, I would do some research, but overall, what I... The information that I found shows me that it's better to kind of look for reasons to actually buy during a situation like this because event over time, eventually, we don't know when it's going to happen yet, but eventually prices are going to rise again. I view this as a discount. Which is why I'm looking more into different types of stocks at this moment. I'm not saying like it's a time to buy at the moment or I'm ready to buy. But I'm, personally, I'm waiting to buy Netflix, some Amazon, Tesla. I'm taking my time on that, but I have experience. I not, not just purchasing stocks, but also trading. But so. I know I have a system set up for myself. I know what I'm looking for. And that's something that you kind of want to build for yourself. You want to know what to look for, when to buy, or when you want to pass on those stocks. Typically, as far as stocks, you want to pass when you feel like a company is bad. A good company is something that's going to survive and it's going to grow. So. Yeah, overall, that's what you want. And just do your research and figure out what, how to um, make the most out of the situation. But, like I said, if you felt this video was pretty helpful, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. There's going to be tons of content just like this.